Hey guys, it is Dustin Dang, and I know I haven't uploaded a YouTube video in forever, and I'm also bad at filming because, uh, as you can see, the look I have on right now is the look that I wore today, so it's kind of worn out because I forgot to film an intro after I finished everything, so as you can tell, I'm very bad at my filming skills, but um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a basic K-pop, you know, male look that I see on like mostly every male K-pop artist that I have followed or seen in the industry and No, by no means like I'm trying to like, you know, be like, oh, this is their set look I this is just what I see so don't at me, please Um, but I kind of don't want to ramble on a lot So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's just get right on to the tutorial so the first step is putting on a headband so my hair won't get in the way when doing the look. So I'm just putting my hair back. So the first step is sunscreen. I use sunscreen as a base for everything because I'm not trying to get tan. Nothing wrong with tan skin, it's just a personal preference and most idols have pretty light skin tones. Make sure you get that around all of your you know, face areas and neck so it all blends. The next thing is a foundation. I use a cushion foundation. It's normally tends to be on the K-Beauty side. So I just apply that all over my face. I'm just speeding up this clip because I'm pretty sure y'all don't want that. The next thing is a eyeshadow palette. I'm using this Pink School Color Eyeshadow Palette. Um, for everything. So you wanna go ahead and start off with this orange color. Because most of the K-pop looks are tend to be more warm tones, I do use an orange for the basic K-pop look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that into my crease and then feather it out to my eyelid space, making sure not to do too much, but not to do like not enough to where you can't see it. After that, I'm going in with the brown to go into the corners of my eyes and below my eyes because with K-Beauty, their eyeshadow tends to go dark to light. So yeah, we're just gonna do that. And I'm, by the way, I'm so sorry if I'm sniffling a lot. I am sick, but I do wanna do this voiceover. I was gonna do text, but I feel like not everybody likes to read. So after that, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that orange back into like my lower lid. So I have, you know, a good smoky look, I guess, to really fade it out. Next, I'm going to add that shimmery color, as you can see, um, only in the corners and half of my lid space. Um, this really opens up your eyes and it helps bring more, you know, attention, I guess. Not really. I guess if you want attention, you can add a lot more, but I just do a little subtle, you know, glittery moment right there. Next for the cheeks, I'm using a Dear Darling lip tint, and I know this is for lips, but I do like to use it as a tint cheek as well, and I'm using the number two, which is bright orange. Um, so I'm just gonna rub that all up in my cheeks because it does last all day and I find that it's easier to blend more than powder. So once you have done blending, that should be the look and these are the results that you'll get. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. 
since you are here on my channel, might as well subscribe. Comment if you guys did like this look or not. I personally think I did okay. If you hear someone crying in the back, it's my baby brother. Um, but anyways, don't forget to follow me on all of my socials as well. Um, they'll be linked down below, but my main social media that I will always be active on, or at least try to, is Instagram. So my Instagram is, I did change it, is 803THN. Uh, follow me there, and you know, I hope I can interact with you guys. But other than that, I'll see you guys whenever I upload a new video. Bye, guys! <laughs>